the bane of my existence. You ever feel that way driving through Colonial Boulevard and I-75? We're taking a live look of the area showing that new diverging diamond traffic pattern, but a new part of that project has already started. And it can get confusing, right, if you're driving through it. So when you do support her, Summer Sunny is live in the area. And Summer, what, are pe what do people need to know about this new traffic pattern? Corey, the new changes are happening at Colonial Boulevard and Forum Boulevard, which is where we are right now. You can see some of those crews working behind me. So here on Forum Boulevard, if you were trying to take a left onto Colonial, you used to have the opportunity to use two left turn lanes. Now you only have one. Let me show you what I mean. So take a look here. We're starting to see traffic back up. It's harder to see these barricades now because the traffic is happening. But in that farthest lane to the right closest to that Forum sign, that is now the only right turn lane that you have. I just walked down there to see how far traffic was getting backed up. It's getting backed up close to Dynasty Drive, which is that light down by the Starbucks and the Moe's, if you're familiar with that area. So now there's only that one left turn lane to get you onto Colonial. Here's a graphic I want to show you that FDOT sent me so you have a better idea of exactly what I'm talking about. Again, Forum Boulevard southbound to Colonial Boulevard eastbound now only has one left turn lane. Also, if you're traveling north on Colonial Court, you can't drive straight across Colonial Boulevard onto Forum Boulevard. Drivers now have to turn either left or right and make U-turns to get onto Forum Boulevard. Now, once this construction is finished, drivers won't be able to make left turns at all. If you're on Forum Boulevard or Colonial Court and trying to get to Colonial Boulevard, you'll have to turn right. If you're hoping to turn left, you'll still have to turn right and then make a U-turn. We took some drone footage to show you this new traffic pattern in action. This is the latest change in the diverging diamond project that has lasted over three years and has caused a lot of headache and confusion for drivers. FDOT told me these new changes are for safety reasons. Vehicles going into the middle of the intersection tr trying to turn, you know, left or right. Um, the collisions that could happen there um, in that situation, it could turn into something that's, you know, deadly. So that we're trying to prevent that, uh, those, um, you know, uh, crashes from happening. You have to be on the road, you're on the road, and your mind, your everything have to be there. Because you'll be going on a lane, and all of a sudden the lane change into another lane. So you have to, you have to be really alert. FDOT told me the construction here is the final configuration for the diverging diamond interchange project, and they're on track to have everything all set and wrapped up by February 2025. Live on Colonial Boulevard, Summer Senny, Wink News. And another area that my drive.